White Sox, Tigers. <laughs> White Sox take two out of three. They stay alive enough after losing in extras that first game. Uh, I don't know. They're lining up for their final stand coming up against the Guardians. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, Vaughn, grand slam in that last game. How about it? Yeah, and there was uh, some interesting plays going on. I forget what game this was. I have to, I should have had it on my notes, but uh, Joe Kelly pitching, strikes a guy out, pass ball, um, like gets it and recovers for the out at home and gets Baez. It was a kind of a trippy little play there to see. Uh, but t- yeah, Tigers, uh, I mean, excuse me, the White Sox take care of business. They are smack dab in the middle of this thing. And look, I know you're saying Baltimore four games out. Yeah. They're done. Chicago five games out. Are they done too? Or do you like believe in them more than Baltimore? No, I have them done for the wild card. Okay, only division for them, which they're three and a half back. Yeah. Massive set coming up against the Guardians. Right. Like I I really hope that Friday I'm sitting here saying, wow, the White Sox have been saying all year they've been waiting for a moment. And they they give it to the Guardians. Do I believe that's going to happen? No. I think the White Sox are going to lose in, like, crushing fashion probably two of the three games because that's just been this season. But two and a half weeks, and they've What's, got okay, their, their, their final three games against the Guardians. Like, this is literally – I've been saying this is it with the White Sox since July. This is actually it. And So – Man. So – Seven and nine against them this year so far are the White Sox versus Cleveland. They kind of played completely different opposite styles of baseball. You got one team that's pretty like spunky and energetic, and you got Josh Naylor yelling all over the place and Quan running the bases, diving all over the place, and really nice young players um, for Cleveland. Then you have the White Sox who just kind of like want to show up and beat you. But like that doesn't hasn't worked out for them too much. Like I wonder if this is going to be like a very energetic series for both teams. Are the White Sox going to steal some of the energy from the Guardians and like use that because they need to? Yeah, they can't. They can't just like waltz in. Like I thought this team was going to waltz in and just beat everybody. That is that ain't happening. You got to have some fire with you. Uh, I can't wait. This is this is what it's all about. It's, it's, this is a series for your season. Yeah, we talk pseudo playoffs, right? Like for the White Sox, this should mean everything. Like you said, uh, seven and nine this year. So if the White Sox did sweep, that would give them the tiebreaker, which makes the hill that much easier to climb. And they basically have to sweep. If you don't, you gain, even if you win two out of three, you gain one game and there's just not enough games left this year. So uh, I am unfortunately and insanely, Still rooting for the White Sox because I'd love a little bit of anarchy this season. Cease, Lynn, and Cease, Lynn, and Cueto coming off an off day, so you're gonna have a fresh bullpen. I don't know. I uh, I hope we're talking. I genuinely mean this for baseball because I've been tough on the White Sox this year, and rightfully so. I mean, talk about one of your bigger underachieving teams this year. Cleveland and Detroit, six games, like real off a of six and zero, oh, kid. And you're here, and you're here, but they've they've given nothing to muster that. I've, I think that's what you're talking about. If you're in the Guardians locker room right now, we control our own destiny. Let's go win some series, and that's it. We don't have to go on a run. We don't need to go on a run. We need to play good, consistent baseball. We need to win the series. Not just the White Sox series. Just we need to win series, and that's it. You take care of your business. Continue to do what we're doing. That's it. White Sox, on the other hand, have to get hot. They have to reel off, essentially, a sweep against the Guardians. They have a bunch of games against the Twins left. I think still six games against them. They're six and seven against them on the year. Familiar opponents, but they got to get hot and they got to go. And the Guardians just have to tell themselves, slow it down. So just win the series, man. It's a good position to be in. White Sox fans, sound off in the comments. Um, is, is it going to be rowdy? It's in Chicago. I, I don't know. Are the, is the fan base still have the energy to get behind this team for one more series, or are people kind of burnt out? I think so. Genuine question. I don't know. In, in, my, in my experience, uh, when Cleveland is good and when you know there's 
when there are big games and you know playoff type atmospheres uh, scenarios, they show up and they create it. Like it's a good sports town. They they suffer. Chris Rosa tells me every single day how it's very tough to be uh, a Cleveland fan. But when you are a Cleveland fan, you're like a diehard. So I think the atmosphere will be good. Okay. Is it in Cleveland? It's in Chicago. Ooh. Oh, they're going to show up. Yeah. Oh, good. Them too. Yes. Yes. And that's a very hostile environment. Like maybe one of the more hostile environments in all the big leagues. When the White Sox fans are there and they're mad and they need victories, it's very, very hostile. South side, man. South side. These people, they used to, oh my gosh, crush me. Yeah. What they say to you? Yeah. What would they say? It's a fun place to play. Okay. 